Finally, a do-it-yourself plastic repair product that works. Easy ABS Repair is a heavy-bodied liquid ABS resin designed to easily repair any damaged ABS plastic. Even the most severely damaged plastic can be repaired at a fraction of the cost of new parts. There's nothing to add or mix up. Use the resin right from the bottle. The resin air cures in 24 hours and chemically welds the plastic in an unbreakable bond. The resin is sandable and accepts paint like the original plastic. This video details the repair on an RV fender skirt. I hope you find it helpful. When this fender skirt broke, the owner taped it back together with duct tape. This will work in the short term, but the glue will transfer to the plastic and is hard to remove. He also tried to use black silicone sealant to hold it together. The first step in this repair is to remove all of the stuff stuck to the plastic. To do this, I use a product called Rapid Remover. It is an adhesive remover used to remove vinyl adhesive residue when removing vinyl signs. It is great stuff and I highly recommend having some on hand for RV owners. It also removes silicone and will not damage surfaces. It is available on Amazon for about $25 for a 32 ounce bottle. Any sign making supply company should have it also in stock. The black flaking off onto the table is the silicone. When you remove all of the adhesive, wash the area down. I use Windex which easily removes the oily rapid remover. When the surface is clean and dry we are ready to start the repair. From the front side use masking tape to get the cracks as tightly together as possible. Do not try and put resin in the crack to act like a glue as this will distort the shape. When you have taped the fender skirt cracks together turn it over and begin the repair on the back side. If you need to put some tape on the back to hold things together, do so. Putting something underneath part of the fender skirt to bring the crack together might also help. I used a tape roll about 18 inches down from the break. Put a bead over the crack about a quarter inch wide. Let the resin cure without moving. After about four hours, being very careful, you can remove the backside tape and finish putting on the resin. Let your completed repair cure for 24 hours. Twenty-four hours later the resin is cured and the fender skirt is back to being a structural unit. I take the tape off and flex the skirt and it is good to go. Unfortunately there was so much silicone and duct tape adhesive that the cleaning process dulled the surface. I applied a small amount of resin over the cracks and using a lint-free rag rubbed it into the surface. The surface of this vinyl has a wrinkle finish and is hard to match to. I then give the skirt a coat of black paint. If you ever break a fender skirt, remove it, lay it on the floor or the bed in your trailer until you can do the repair. I know that there will be some out there who will say why not just buy a new one. The cost of a new one is $250 to $300 for this keystone fender skirt. I'm a handy guy and I would prefer to fix it with a $39.99 Canadian dollar repair kit. There was also a mounting hole torn out. Using the supplied ABS material I used a tin snip to cut a piece to fit into the area. I bonded it into place and will drill a hole when it is cured. Here is the finished product ready to put back onto the trailer. This is the end of this video. I hope you have found this helpful. If you've subscribed to our YouTube channel, you will be informed when the next video is available. There are many more repair videos on our website, easyabsrepair.com.